in the, the beginning, beginning existed here, here a wild, remote land of rippling hills with slopes plunging down to the sea. A lush, green land surrounded by water. Water, the most basic of elements. Water, water the, the source, source of life. life. Beginning existed, existed here, a wild, wild remote, remote land of rippling hills with slopes plunging down to the sea. We find an ancient tree, the tree of life, protecting and caring, holding our dreams and aspirations, remembering, remembering everything. everything. From seed pod, big trees grow. One. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ten. This, this mighty tree, this mighty tree, he stands, stands and sees over, over. everything. In the beginning existed here a wild, remote land of rippling hills with slopes plunging down to the sea. Far below the earth's surface, through veins and seams, there lay essential minerals and ores of great magnitude. Gold, silver, lead, zinc, and iron. <laughs> The beginning existed here, a wild, remote land of rippling hills with slopes plunging down to the sea. 
Fire rose up from the belly of the earth. And fought down from the skies above. Sparking and crackling. Racing and leaping. Consuming all in its path. Yet, yet a, a cleansing, cleansing force. force. rippling hills with slopes plunging down to the sea. Earth, the largest of the terrestrial planets. Earth, core, mantle and crust. Earth, to sustaining water, wood, metal and fire. Each blade of grass, each giant tree. Each blade of grass, each giant tree. Each clod of mud and stick and stone. Each clod of mud and stick and stone. Is blood and muscle, skin and bone. Is blood and muscle, skin and bone. In the beginning existed here. A wild, remote land of rippling hills with slopes plunging down to the sea. Then not so very long ago, people came. They came across the water. To settle here. A community was formed. And they used fire and wood and metal to build. To, to construct. construct. So Discovery College was built. And filled with sound and color and life. We celebrate here tonight our achievements thus far. And express joy and happiness as we summon good luck and fortune. And look towards the future.
Several years ago, many parents across Hong Kong put their faith in ESF and enrolled their children at a school called Bauhenia, which was in Lai King. And they did that with the promise of a new school here in Discovery Bay. And many of you are here tonight along with your children who are still students at this school. That's part of the journey of this school. And tonight, we're celebrating that journey by looking at three themes. You've seen so far the theme of creation. You looked at the theme of construction. And we're about to start the theme of the future. But if we go back to the theme of creation, it started with the foresight and the commitment of ESF to enter an agreement with the Hong Kong government to develop a private independent school here in Discovery Bay. I have to acknowledge the architect of this marvelous building, Winston Shu, who's here tonight with some of his team from IDA Architects. Winston, you've created for us a building like no other, and we're only just starting to realize the potential of this building. We look to the future, and what is the future for us? The future for us as Discovery College is that we are a school of discovery, not just because we're in Discovery Bay, but because we follow a program of, of inquiry through the IB curriculum. The future for us is as an IB world school, but mostly we're a school of students. And our students come from over 40 countries and speak over 20 mother tongues. And you are the future of our school. Someone once said to me when I was a teacher that once in a lifetime you get a class of students that you'll remember for the rest of your life. At the moment, I feel like I have a staff of teachers that I'll remember for the rest of my life. And I want to finally acknowledge the staff of this college. Executive Officer of the English Schools Foundation. And say how much we've been impressed, how much we've enjoyed the wonder wonderful performances that you've given. Fancy 700 performers in one evening, all showing their talent and all showing their commitment to this fabulous school. Thank you. But a school isn't really about the building, as Mark Beach said. A school is about a community, a community of young people learning together and a community of young people being led and guided by fantastic teachers, by a fantastic leadership team, and I have to say, by a brilliant, brave, and excellent principal in Mark Beach. So all I can say to you from ESF is that we will continue to work with you and support you as you go into your future together. We're so proud of what you've achieved already. You really did make that act of faith worthwhile back in, in, two, in the year 2000. And we have every confidence in all that you're going to do together in the future. Thank you so much for giving us a wonderful evening.
nights like this don't happen without a great deal of work and a great deal of cooperation from many, many people, the students and the staff. And we would like to take the opportunity now to thank them. So could we have all the performing arts staff people up on the stage? And they deserve every single bit of that. Uh, just to introduce them from this side, Claire Connor in our drama department. Stephanie Rowe, drama. <laughs> Oliver Panera, our performing arts technician. <laughs> Paul Creech, music department and architect of the Stomp. <laughs> Robert Chader, music department, choir and musicals. And last, but by no means least, every great team needs a coordinator. Martin DeBar, coordinator of performing arts. <laughs> Guys, on behalf of all of us, uh, a huge thank you for all your work, for all your talent. Um, it is a huge pleasure working with you all. Thank you so much. Everyone join with me. Thank you.